what's up guys it's zed and this is episode 20 of the fifa 21 player car mode with conrad zan we are 40 goals 14 assists in just 29 matches played and we are on the best form that i could ever imagine we maxed out in the last episode reached level 25 and we are an 87 overall and i really hope that that is not where we are going to stop Hopefully, if you guys don't know anything about that, make sure to put it in the comment section. I said that in the last episode, and if you guys have actually dropped comments on that, I actually can't see it because, like I told you, I'm actually scheduling videos because I'm going to be resuming school on Friday, and I'm going to be recording a bunch of videos to upload while I'm in school. All right, so like I said in the previous episode as well, uh, we're going to be doing um, the player career mode on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and the create a club carry mode on saturdays only so i'm going to be posting three times a week hopefully you guys are actually good with that because i really can't post every day of the week anymore while i'm in school because that's going to be a lot of videos for me to record and schedule so i would i wouldn't be able to do that and this is just going to be the best option until i am back from school in this episode we're definitely going to be playing this match against juventus i i hate calling them piemonte culture so I we're going to skip this one the match against Main, so we're going to play the one against Juventus, most likely the one against Schalke, and from there we'll just go wherever the wind takes us. All right, today is when we're going to be starting the three episodes per week, sorry, three videos per week thing. And I know I did Conrad Zan yesterday or Monday, so I'm going to be doing uh, another Conrad Zan on Tuesday. The next one is going to be on Thursday, and then on Saturday, you guys should like stay tuned for the create a club career mode i'm going to be doing full seasons per episode so that should be uh one season every saturday so i mean it's going to be progressing faster than usual and hopefully you guys like it that way all right so there's the good news and there is the bad news the good news is we are two goals away from our 100 goal mark and the bad news is that i'm not going to be playing this match so i so if we get a brace in this match that is going to be completely fucked up we do not score so there is that we actually get subbed off in the 77th minute but we do win the match that is that is the best part then as for this match i'm going to be simming it so if hopefully we do not get two goals because i do not want to okay we got only one so we are one goal away from the 100 goal mark and hopefully we can score that in the match against juventus oh yeah and that was a very very heavy win against whatever the fuck that team was i think that was mains and and hopefully we can get carry that form into this match against juventus because the toughest match i have ever played in my career okay there's liverpool i mean i actually have no idea but we have 99 goals in 98 appearances 173,000 million 500,000 pounds that is how much i'm valued at we have 12 team of the weeks four player of the months and i mean i'm just going to look at the rest of these this season Cheating. well just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening it's absolutely ideal okay guys so this is the match that we are going to be getting the chance at a hundred goals are we going to be able to do it? Are we not going to be able to do it? If we don't do it, we have to do it in the next match against Chalke. But we're supposed to get a match rating of 8.5, get an assist on goal and complete 10 passes. And as usual, the most important one is the one, is the 8.5 one. So I'm just really stoked about this match because I really, really want to get that 100 goal in the match against a huge team like Juventus. And I'm not going to be skipping past this because I actually want to see how far it will go in the Champions League. So I'll, I'll be talking to you guys after this match is over if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys after this match
This is the lineup for Dortmund. Roman Burki gets the nod in goal. Mats Hummel starts with Toby Alderweireld in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And now this Champions League round of 16 first leg begins. Brandt. It's with Mats Hummers. An encouraging move from Dortmund. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Can he finish? Well, not quite the result he was hoping for with that shot. Close, though. Passed. And that's not always straightforward, is it, Stuart? Well, it can work either way. Some players are inspired and play really well. Some feel overawed. I hope that he... Oh, Stuart, opportunity here. The crossbar got in the way. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. Dinia takes aim. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. Nicola Pepe. Dybala. They've given it away. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, this is a brilliant finish. Great awareness, good technique, and a bit of composure as well. What an excellent goal that is. Koke. Well, that pass easy on the eye. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Who can he pick out? Well, here it is again, and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And then the movement and finish just makes it look so easy. That's a really good goal. Taken short. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. And to add insult to injury, it's a booking, Stuart. Well, I agree with the penalty. I'm not quite so sure about the yellow card, though. An opportunity to level matters. Oh, the post denied him. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, as you can see here, the initial attempt is good. But his reaction is brilliant. He was so alert there. Emre Can. Oh, nice ball. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. So, a half an hour remaining. A terrific pass. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. All right, so that's the end of our match. We're going 9.4 rating, 61 minutes played. We got one goal, we got one assist. And I think we got all three of the manager's objectives, if I'm not wrong. But, yeah, from what I just saw, I think we did. We do end up winning the match 3-2. And yeah, that was a good match. We got we got our 100th goal, and 
here we do get all three all three of the manager's objectives and i really don't see us getting any new skill points to be honest because i'm actually really scared that we have maxed out and that is the top of our potential 87 and that would be that would be rather stupid if that's what is going to happen all right so i'll play this match against Schalke. i will same this two against uh this team and hoffenheim and then i'll play the one against leipzig and maybe i might play this one the long shot but i don't think that i'm going to be able to play this match in this episode we're supposed to get a match of 8.5 complete 10 passes with the opponent half i get team possession rate of 55 i don't think we've had we have ever gotten this one so i'm just going to enhance this because you know how i do it it's the one that means little to me that i hit that I enhance so we'll talk to you guys after this match good tackle take it away well you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner but this man might be a decent shout what are you expecting to see from him Stuart well he's and effectively parried away by the keeper class defending forward momentum here but can they produce a glorious chance oh it's gone in a derby goal the first of the contest electric well here's the replay and it's a really inviting ball played into the box begging players to attack it but should the keeper be beaten at his near post i don't think so he really needs to do better in those situations mascarel Terode has it, and that pass could be troublesome. And a goal to level this contest. All even penalties, but no problems at the end. He'll take this on. Now well, able to close down the shots. Here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Inching towards half-time, Borussia Dortmund with the advantage. Your thoughts on what they put into the game? Well, it's been a lively first half, hasn't it? Both sides have looked dangerous. Oh, the chance is on, Stuart. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. A good and fair challenge. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Alright, so this is going to be the end of the match. I just want to do this quick. We got a 10 point rating, we got 8 passes out of 10, and we're able to get the remaining two of the objectives, just the main one that we got, and that's good enough for me, really. So I'm just going to sub right here, and that is the end of our match. We're going to just. I think if you sub, one more goal was added to our tally, and this. Whenever I see this max level reach thing, I actually get really pissed because. I don't see my player moving over 87. Is there a way to shuffle these skill points that will make us, like, you know, get higher than 87 and actually get what we want? I mean, that should be an option. I mean, I, I, I think we can do that, but still, it's annoying. And I'm just noticing that we are actually five, six points ahead of Bayern. That is two whole games ahead of them. Uh, that is good. So we're, we're actually on track to winning the Bundesliga and we won against Juventus the previous match our Champions League dreams are still very much alive even though it's more of a long shot than the Bundesliga but we're still going to try and do that all right this is the match against Mainz we're going to be simming this one and do we score yeah we do we got the goal in the 11th minute and that other guy I, I, I can't remember what his name is, is getting the goal got the final goal rather we also did get the man of the match as you guys saw there briefly 
I mean, I saw it. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I saw it because the man of the match. All right, next up is the match against Hoffenheim. We're not going to be playing this one either. Hopefully, we can also get the win away from home. And we do not. We scored in the 90th minute. So, there we are again, saving Dortmund's ass. And, well, that draw, that draw shouldn't really do anything to us, I guess. Because let's just hope that we actually are able to pull further away from Bayern. And we actually, we actually did, funny enough. It's Leipzig that is close on our tail and that is the match that we're going to be playing next that's also where we're going to be ending the episode uh we are i think that is seven points ahead of bayern and to be honest that is good enough for me that is good enough for me okay so this is the match first versus second we're supposed to get a match rating of 8.5 avoid losing or drawing the match and get at least one goal or assist so this is the one i'm going to be enhancing and i'll talk to you guys after this match is over from the bundesliga it is borussia dortmund and they take on rb leipzig thanks derek well often we talk about the tactics the individual players players that are missing but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question really get at the opposition but ultimately up a cul-de-sac and Dortmund exploiting the space on the flank. Can he give them the lead? Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. And still dangerous. Oh, a good diving save. Dortmund really had designs on a victory after drawing in the last match against Hoffenheim. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, they were probably just a wonderful chance. Squanders the chance for 1-0. Well, that's a big miss. They should be leading now. Look at Dinia. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow... An example of how to press. Oh, lovely incisive pass. And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely! Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace and control possession. But their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Opportunity. A goal. Real excitement. A back and forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. Andres Silva. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Oh, tremendous goal. Technical excellence to finish. And I'm hearing something significant has happened in the Gladbach game. And Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal for Gladbach. It was an early cross into the box. And it was a great headed finish. Must be. He's got it from the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Can he find the net? No way through. And so it is they first... going to want to join us for. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium. And two very good teams. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. On the attack, is there to be late drama? And the keeper getting across to stop it. Martial doing well to keep possession. Very quick thinking there. Well, I'm hearing something significant has happened in the Gladbach game. And Alex Scott has the details. And he might be through here. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every 
chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, let's do this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish. Tremendous ball played through. The crossbar got in the way. And that will be that. The referee brings this match to an end. All right, so this is the end of the episode. We were able to get that final goal in the 87th minute. We were able to lay the pass perfectly to El Naziri, who fired it home with precision. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn post notifications on and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.